compare it. It's my soul task for thee in a dry and parched land. So the same thing for these people. So he led them in the way of the wilderness. He led them in no water areas. God led these people in a place of no water. What is a place of no water? What is a wilderness? It is the experiencing of dry, empty, and dark, oppressive seasons. This season is to help us, is to, is to reveal what you really need. You find that the difficult moments, the times of your disappointment, your failure, your confusion, your uncertainty, the times of your pain and trial, these difficult places are God allowing you to discover what you really need. Why? We only find God truly in our suffering. You find God in your loneliness. You find God in your rejection. You find God in your bankruptcy. You find God in your indebtedness. You find God in your sickness. You find God in your affliction. You find God in your hopelessness. It is called the blessedness of the barren places. That's where we find God, in barren places. It was when David's soul came to the place of barrenness that he, this drove him to seek his satisfaction in Elohim. And that's the purpose of my soul, to task for God. God uses suffering to polish us. In suffering we discover there is no greater earthly experience than to drink of God. And taste something that is better than staying alive on earth. Now let me show you something else. In Psalm six, is this Psalm sixty-three? Where is Psalm sixty-three? Psalm forty-two. Psalm forty-two. I'm connecting that Psalm with this, with, this, with the Deuteronomy chapter chapter one. Now, please help me with Psalm forty-two, verse two. Psalm forty-two, verse two. Psalm forty-two, verse two. My soul for God, for the living God. When can I go and meet with God? Hmm. Go ahead, sir. My tears have been my food day mm. and night. Mm. Why men say to me all day long, where is your God? The last these, verse. These things I remember as I pour out my soul. How I used to go with the multitude, leading the procession to the house of God, mm. with shouts of joy and thanksgiving among the festive trumpets. Hallelujah. Remembering... Re remembering God... My soul thirsts not for water. Verse 1 is even more enlightening. It says, As the deer pants for the streams of water, so my soul pants for you, my Elohim. My soul thirsts for Elohim, for the living Elohim. When can I go and meet with my God? Can I go? Now, where can I go to watch the pastor? Now where can I go to, to, to no, no, can I go? No, no, no. The things we go to shows that we are blinded and deceived. So it's time to put off our television, put off the television, put off the phone that is trapped us. Put go go off Twitter, go off Instagram, go off Facebook, go off with that phone, cut off the internet, cut off the cable TV, cut off the distraction. It's not helping you. Don't help you. <coughs> Take them out on a retreat. Go to a desert place. Go to a mountain. Find your, lock yourself up somewhere. Trust and long for God. You trust and long for God. My soul trust for God for the living Elohim. When can I meet with my God? When can I meet with my God? Ask this question. When can I meet with my God? When can I meet my God? You can't meet with your God if Twitter is before you, if your phone is before you, if your sin is before you, if your entertainment is before you. You can't meet with your God when you have an idol before you. My tears have been my food day and night. 
<laughs> my tears have been my food. He's not crying for stuff. This man is a king. He's a very wealthy king. David, is, David was wealthy. So he's not crying for what to eat. He's crying in the, in the midst of his wealth. Reputation and fame as a king of Israel. He's crying to meet with God. When can I meet my God? He has wealth. I was on a mountain and I made a prayer that day. I knew that prayer was heard by God. I said, Oh, Jehovah. I said, Oh, God. If nobody ever knows about me, if nobody ever hears about me, I'm prepared to be in the back place as long as I please you. I don't have to fail. I want to be where God wants me to be. A change of life. My tears have been my food. Day and night is your tears, your food. Are you crying? Just crying. You cry day and night. You cry. What are you crying for? How can you explain this to the kind of man? 